Hey, uh, welcome to Binod Suman Academy. This is the first video on the Java based view engine blues. So in the previous video, I explained all the fundamental things and how to make the simple rules, complex, uh, salience, all those things I explained. This video is based upon how to make the stateful sessions and what is the meaning of the stateful sessions. So that will be come to know. And uh, but for get the more details, please visit my previous video if we give the more insight. So what is the actually uh, what is the business, what is the rules based engine? Um, you must have seen a lot of uh, if use condition in the, your code base, and as per the business, you might have to change those code base. Uh, in the case of the uh, finance or the online business, whether your offers used to come at with that time, if you want to change the business logic, uh, so no need to touch the code. You uh, condition separate in the different uh, package, and any person. Uh, doesn't mean they should they must have the knowledge of the code and the machine. Any guys who have the business ideas, they can do those kind of things. This is the all about the do this. And if you uh, uh, whatever I explained, uh, that is I have used the dual uh, open source that is called the business logic integration platform. So let me show how we can do that. And I have already um, you know, first three videos I have. Uh, already posted and this is the first fourth video how to make the stateful session let me jump into the eclipse on maven based project so i'm doing from scratch so um if you just follow this video you can able to uh, set up your so yes and uh, any Artifact name, suppose uh, in, in the form document. you can give as per your requirement. Now go to the pound.xml and add the three required dependencies there. Remove this dependency uh, for time being is not required for our use case. We add the three one two. Uh, one is the API, second is the core, and third is the compiler. So now go and paste this method. Now we main add the one. And uh, you have to create the two folder here. I am just copying first. So, what is this thing? Just give me some time. And go the package here and create your factories where you want to apply your rules. So, create one package. Office. And I add the just two. Get a second. Very basic. My focus is that so to show how, how the session it works. And then create one more uh Okay, so the do one thing. Uh, so create the, create the four features here and all the set of the methods.
So what I did, uh, I took the for China means uh, uh, the my demo is based upon that. Uh, this is for the payment gateway. If you make the payment for the Paytm, you will get certain discount. If you make the payment for the phone pay, you will get a different discount. And on top of that, if any festival season is there, you might get more discount. On top of that, if you are the first customers, so you may uh, many other discounts. So that uh, that kind of things I will put into the my rules here. Offer dot dr. So you see, if you make the payment, if China is the payment, set the discount of seventeen percent. If the China is the phone pay, twenty percent. So this is the separate part, and this coding is the separate. So when you uh, use this. Uh, Without touching the code, you can change this kind of condition. Make one more uh, pojo to show the session things. Event so Just I want I want to give some more discount if uh, uh, payment is more or if you if you want to count something. Suppose you are coming five six times, so how you can count? Uh, so if you make uh, in the Java code you project, you have to keep the counter on that. If you check the uh, how many times object is creating and make the counter. The same that kind of things also you can do in the um, your best uh, open source and do this. So they will uh, it, they will make the count how many times this instance is going to be used. So on if you have some uh, business logic, uh, if this number of times is happen, you want to get some more discount, you can do that. So here just you keep uh, two things. Uh, channel and the amount. Just any, uh, I have taken just RV to any example. So that's it. So now if you show, I have already shown the offer. Uh, if it is the Paytm, how much is gone? I have taken one more counter dot here. So now we are going to discuss on this thing. This is important. So what happened? If you, what this rules is saying, if the payment contact check. If, if you add the payment contact in the working memory, in the, uh, in this engine, then this will invoke. So this is the condition. The moment you add the payment contact POJO inside the, Engine, new engine, this condition will invoke. And just I am printing the simple thing what is the channel name and how much amount is that. That's it. Second use I have had if they have created an instance, add any instance in the engine, then what you do, you make the count. This count is the keyword for the, the rules engine side. Uh, Engine side, and that count you will copy into the account. This is the variables. Here is the variables. What is the dollar sign? This is the variables. You can keep anything. Count is the method name. So I'm showing here the tenor name and the amount and how many times that instance has been created. So they will keep the count. This is the stateful. So they will keep the track track of the uh, keep the track of the history also. So if you have created the five times. If you Make the counter for the five times that it will show and paste this you create one class Like this dependency.
what we have done here so first two things i showed and go in resource we have the two folder one is the rule you can keep so many rules and this is the ki session so no need to mention this file name everything we taken care with the package instructions in the meta enough you have to take one k module and you have the um, rules name what is the stateful rules name you have to use the same name in your code testing code here. so see uh, this is the same name I have given that. And apart from that, you have to put one Maven project information here. What is the package name? So you go and take the artifact name from here. So what is my artifact name? This is my artifact name. And the group ID name. So go here, put the artifact name and the group ID. Then everything. Now you are good to go. So let me execute this code. So what I did here. I saw the old code. This, I create one channel, KTM, festival, and the two. Then I kept this domain into the event offer inside the session. And another thing, what I did, I, I'm more interested for this part. A payment counter, I create the new payment counter event counter and set the channel name is Amazon, amount is the 10, put into the counter. So I took the three one, one is the Amazon, one is the XYZ and second is the ABC. Everything I took inside the Now see what happened, what logic is happening. So now if you execute this Or oh, maybe some let me okay. It's good to, to get there, so this is a good time to see that what it is happening. So payment offer it is a payment counter. Okay. So what is the package now the payment counter? Now this interesting part that we show these things. So yeah. what happened actually? So when I add the Amazon, it is showing the um, I added the three Amazon, XYZ and ABC. It is showing all the ABC, XYZ and Amazon. Okay. And now uh, First, you execute. Now, go the second. This is the first part executed. So, what second part is executed? I have used the accumulate. So, now if you see the output, payment counter channel, payment counter channel, channel name is the and this, this occurrence, occurrence is coming the count part here. So, all the three means this occurrence has been created three times. So, it is showing the Three, three, three. Because keep track all the history also, so it uh, make the count of all the objects. So you can see the. Or oh, this is the um, um, uh, this uh, stateless part, uh, stateful part. Let me show the stateful. So how it uh, works. Stateless. So when I show the example of the stateless, you can see all the counter is one one. Now oh, I am going to convert the same project into the status. So what you have to do, come here. And now this is the status I am going to do that. So no need to use this name. You can remove this part. And before that I want to show that all the codes what I am discussing. It is my GitHub. So you can go the GitHub in notes when you can get all those things. Whatever the examples I showed, uh, I showed here it is inside the session. So here I have the code, and what I'm going to show it is uh, in the state races. You can get all the working code here. Now let me come the this side. So I remove it; it is not required. Go to the test class, and just 
you i don't want to this one because i am not going to maintain any session instead of this put this one so now you can see the stateless file session and the api has been changed now you have to do the execute actually Oh, uh, just uh, again, I want to. Uh, I would like to see the output of the previous project uh, from the state uh, full. Uh, now I am going to execute this change this code as per the status. So now three should not be come. Execute because they are not maintaining any session. So every time they consider the new new new. See every time it's not considering for the what happened in the back. There is no session. Is just a uh, status session individually they are considering. So that's it. Uh, I have for the um, this one. So I mentioned the stateful and the uh, stateful session and the session both in this video. Hope you enjoy the video. If any questions, doubt, please let me know. And uh, feel free to subscribe this channel because this uh, channel is for the machine learning, deep learning, Java, and all the my best experience. I'm going to share with this channel. Thank you.